Hello, my name is Michael from Club Card, and today I'm going to show you how to create proper separations for a die cut hang tag in Adobe Illustrator. First off, we're going to start by naming our document. We'll call it die cut. We're going to need one artboard. I'm going to make it 2 inches by 3.5 inches high with a bleed of 0.125 inches or eighth of an inch. CMYK color mode and raster effects set to 300 ppi. I'm going to hit OK. And now we create our first layer. We're going to call this front and bring in our artwork for the front. Here I have the artwork for the front side. Now we're going to go and create a second layer, lock the first one, and call the second one die line front. This is where we'll bring the die line into. Alright, so now we've got our die line in on the die line front layer. Now you can see that there's an eighth of an inch border between our artwork and the die line here. This is so when the die is c or the card is cut out, none of your artwork gets cut off. You'll also note that we have a hole here. This will be so that we can hang this tag once it's cut out. Now if you want to bleed on the front side, you would want to make sure it extends an eighth of an inch past this cut line or the die line. But we'll get that to that on the back side. I'm going to go ahead and hide the front and the front die line layers and create two new layers. One is going to be our back side, and the second will be the die line for the back. If I can spell it right. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Now, we'll start with the die line back. We're going to grab the artwork from the front side, copy it, and paste it onto the back. Now the back side is going to be a mirror image of the front side, and to get a mirror image of this, you just select your object, go Object Transform, and Reflect. We're going to reflect it vertically, and there you go, you have a mirror image for the back side. Now I'm going to go ahead and lock the die line on the back, and paste our artwork for the back side. This is our artwork. Now you can see that we have a bleed on this, so it extends one eighth of an inch past our trim line, and additionally, all of our text is one eighth of an inch in from the trim line. This is so if the trim fluctuates at all, none of our text or critical graphics will be cut off. Now I'm going to go ahead and lock this layer and get rid of the die line back. When you submit your artwork, you only need to submit a die line for the one side, so in this case, we're going to submit the die line front. Now I'm going to go ahead and save three separate files for print one for the back, one for the die line, and one for the front. Let's start with the back. We'll go File, Save a Copy, and we'll call this Die Cut Back. Save it as a PDF, hit Save. And now we're going to go with the Illustrator default settings, where there is no compression, it all says Do Not Downsample, and we're going to add some trim marks and ensure that the bleed is checked. Everything else can be left as, as the default, no color conversion, no inclusion of profiles, and all these you shouldn't have to worry about. So we'll hit Save PDF, and there you go. There's the back side. Now we'll go back into our document, hide the back, show the die line, and we'll save the die line, noting that this is the front side. Save a copy, we will call this die cut front die line. Save it as a PDF, hit save, and again, it should retain the settings from the previous PDF that you have saved. No downsampling, we've got our trim mark, we've got our bleed, and no color conversion. Let's go ahead and hit save. There's your die line for the front. Now, for the last one, we will save our front side. File, save a copy, and we will call this die cut front. Save it as a PDF and hit save. Again, should retain all your previous settings. Everything looks good. Trim marks, bleed, good to go. Hit save. And there you go. Now you have proper separations for a die cut hang tag or card and the file print ready files. We hope this video has been helpful. Please check out clubcard.tv for more videos with tips for printing with Clubcard.